Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the Week 10 Weekly Update. Start out this week with the new version of the Benchmade Autocrat. We've got these in green and tan G10 now. They come with a black DLC coated S30V blade. You can see it's a double edged blade with a chisel grind. Well, you don't see any of the edge on the back there. All black hardware as opposed to the jeweled hardware on the original. And the same overall construction with deep carry stainless steel pocket clip and snappy double action out the front automatic mechanism there. We also have all four variants of the new Spyderco Pacific Salt 2. So these have an Endura style handle with bi-directional texturing, four position hourglass clip in titanium, and you've got a black coating on all the hardware clip and backspacer. Since this is a salt series, they've got no internal liners. Let's see if we can get a shot of that there. So you can see there's some internal molding for structural rigidity. And there's a little bit of flex, but not much. Also helps keep the overall weight of the knife very low. Nice smooth operation. And again, we have these in all four variants, all with H1 steel and a hollow saber grind. We've got black and satin and plain or full spider co serration for the four different variants. And while this is a salt series knife that's designed to be used in salt water or other corrosive environments, this does make a great EDC, very lightweight, plenty of edge and good durability with H1. It's a very tough stainless steel and essentially corrosion proof. And while the edge retention isn't super high, it is good enough for general EDC use and sharpens very easily. We also have some new variants from Protec knives. We have the Strider Protec SNG. Same classic Strider SNG design. You've got a 154 CM blade in a nice stonewash finish. This one has OD green anodized aluminum handles, button lock operation, snappy coil spring deployment there. You got that same great ergonomic design and single position right hand tip up strider style clip. And then we've got the Emerson Protec CQC7. This is a Tonto blade with two tone DLC and satin. You got that chisel ground Tonto point. And this is our exclusive smooth green micarta. And then you've got matching black DLC on the hardware and clip and then a hard anodized aluminum back with integral spacer there and again you get that nice snappy coil spring operation and as with all protect knives these are made in the usa with 100 percent u.s materials next we've got a nice little fixed blade from lion steel of italy this is the much anticipated b35 somewhat of a hybrid between their popular B40 model, the Bushcrafter, and the M4, which is just a nice mid-sized outdoor fixed blade. As with the B40, we've got Schleipner tool steel, a modified D2, great performance with that. You got a full height flat grind, a bit thinner on the stock with a nice taper out to the point for good piercing and slicing. As with all of their knives, you've got a nice crowned spine, runs right into the contoured handles. We've got wood, G10, and of course the green canvas micarta here, my favorite. You've got a nice lanyard hole, which is chamfered there. And then you've got a 90 degree spine on the end tang here for ferro rod striking. So this is a great compromise for outdoor and bushcraft use. And it's a good size in general and fairly lightweight and it comes with a nice high quality italian leather sheath so if you're looking for a great all-purpose outdoor knife 
this is going to be a great option. We have some new releases from Zero Tolerance and Kershaw. This is the ZT0357, uh, newest in the 300 series. This is an in-house design, and you'll be able to see this mark on all their in-house designs moving forward. This one is in the black wash finish, and you've got a nice high saber grind, nearly a full flat harpoon style point on there. So you got a nice taper while still being fairly durable. Thumb scoop gives you a nice option for multiple grip positions. Some spine jimping. You've got black G10 that's fairly coarse over stainless steel liners. You've got a nice nearly full length backspacer there. Lanyard hole, reversible deep carry clip for tip up only carry. It is a stainless steel liner lock and a speed safe assisted flipper. So you get that nice snappy deployment and a nice solid lockup and smooth operation with the stainless steel lockup. You've got that in the black wash finish here. And then you've got what they're calling a working finish, which is a blasted and tumbled finish. So a bit more non-reflective as opposed to a standard stone wash. And on this one, instead of the black liners, you just got the standard gray stainless steel liners. Otherwise identical there. And a quick comparison, fairly similar in size to the classic 0770. So if you like the 770 and you're looking for something a bit more robust, but with some of the same great features such as the stainless liner lock, deep carry clip, and high performance blade, then the 0357 is going to be a great choice for that. From Kershaw, we've got the new Launch 11 that was released at SHOT Show this year. Same great materials as the rest of the Launch line, CPM 154 with a black wash finish, hard anodized aluminum handles. We got a nice brass pivot ring there, button lock operation, a slim line clip for carry, and that is reversible for left or right hand tip up carry. You got a nice cutout in the handle and a semi-integral construction. You could loop a lanyard through this back part right here for inline lanyard attachment. And this is just a great all around EDC size. You got a nice full four finger grip, nice index finger choil, a bit of jimping on the spine, a good reverse tanto blade with a nice belly on there for slicing and just a great balanced all around EDC design. And I'll show you with the new dividend here. So you can see just a bit smaller than the dividend all around. You see it's got the same relatively thin blade stock, but thanks to that grind there, you got a bit more thickness out towards the tip. And that'll bring me to the dividend here. This is the new version with a composite blade of Sandvik stainless steel and CPM D2 for the cutting edge. So you're gonna get great performance with that, plus the added style there. OD green handles with some nice milling, stainless steel liner construction with speed safe, and they went with a nice deep carry clip on that. That is for position for left or right hand carry. And while we do have some other new models from Kershaw, I'm just going to pick one more of my favorites from SHOT Show this year. This is the Tumbler designed by Dmitry Sinkovich. You've got a D2 tool steel blade with kind of a Skinner profile there. Tumbled on the swedge and the grinds, satin on the flats. You've got a carbon fiber over G10 handle with some nice milled texture custom style pivot. You've got a three quarter length backspacer that rides proud to the handles there for an even more contoured look and feel. Custom end position deep carry clip that can be reversed and a nice stainless steel sub frame lock as well as the KVT ball bearing pivot system for smooth operation and fast deployment. And Thanks to the lack of stainless steel liners, 
you've just got that stainless steel sub frame lock mounted in there. And that makes this a very lightweight knife that fits great in the hand. So if you're looking for a stylish, lightweight EDC, this is going to be a great option there. And last but not least, we have the Fox Knives Livery, as well as the Fox Knives Libar. So these are modern traditional slip joints. The Livery has a sheep's foot style blade, while the Libar has a Bowie style clip point, which has a nice recurve on there. We've got these in a few different variations. These two are wood handled options with a nice olive wood on the top and zero coat on the bottom. And you can see the different figuring on there. You can also see that sometimes you're going to get something with a little less figuring or a bit more. So natural variation in the materials. These are made in Italy with satin finished Bowler M390 blades. The wood handled variants have stainless steel liners and of course a stainless steel backspacer with half stop operation. And then they also make these models in carbon fiber and green canvas micarta. And those models are going to be linerless and that's due to the stability of the materials. So we've got the carbon fiber V-bar here. Again, we've got a nice solid half stop there. You can see fairly strong on the back spring for closure. And it does have a bit of a ricasso there with jimping on the spine. So you do have a fair amount of control and safety. And as you can see, pushing pretty hard on the blade there without it closing. As with any slip joint though, you do want to be careful of that. Nice solid snap closure. And of course, with most traditionals, you're not going to have a clip, but it does have a hollow tube for lanyard attachment and includes a nice leather slip pouch for pocket carry. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your week 10 weekly update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media, like the video below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new products.